Hello everyone. So now you know how to add bigger numbers with regrouping. That too very easily, right? Great. Now do you remember in the previous chapter I taught you how to round off the numbers for easy calculations? Right. Now it's the time to use that trick. Yes. Do you want to know how? Now we are going to add the numbers after rounding them off. Okay. And then the sum that we'll get will be an approximate sum. This is called estimation. Let's start doing it. Rounding of the numbers make the addition very easy and we get the estimation which is very close to the actual sum. Let's check. Okay. Now, first of all, let's go for actual sum which you already know how to find. 358 plus 426 we will get 8 plus 6 after 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 so 14 5 plus 1 is 6 6 plus 2 is 7, 8 and 4 plus 3 is 7 so the actual sum is 784 now in order to estimate, we'll round off these to the nearest hundreds. Okay, both these numbers. So first, let us round off this. We'll observe the digit at tens place. Correct. So this is 5. And if the digit is 5 or more than 5, we will add 1 here. Exactly. Which makes it 400. So, 4 double zero. And we are going to round off this now. So, we have to observe the digit at tens place. This is less than 5. So, last two digits become 0 and 4 as it is. Okay. Now, if we add this, 0, 0, 4 plus 4 is 8. So, 784 is quite near to 800. So, approximately the sum of these two numbers is 800 okay this is called estimation right let's try one more the actual sum of 1357 and 2690 will be 7 plus 0 7 9 and mine 5 on finger after 9 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Always bigger number on mind. Okay. So 3 plus 1 will be 4. And 6 plus 4. So 6 in mind, 4 on finger. After 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 0 here, 1 up. 1 plus 1 is 2. And 2 plus 2 is 4. So the actual answer is 4047. Time to round off. In order to find the estimate, we have to round off. Now, this is a four-digit number. So, we will we'll round off this to the nearest thousands. Okay. Let's start. In order to round off to the nearest thousand, we'll observe. Yes, the digit at hundreds place. Let's start. This is three, which is smaller than five. So, the last three digits obviously will be zero. And nothing will be changed over here. Because this one is smaller than 5. Good. Now let's round off 2690. We will observe this one. This is greater than 5. So we will add 1 over here. Last 3 digits become 0. And 2 plus 1 becomes 3. So the addition will be 3 plus 1 is 4. So the estimate value will be 4000, quite close to 4047, right? Now is the time to use all our addition tricks to solve the practical story sums. Don't be afraid on seeing this long question. I am here to make this 
quite easy for you. Let's read, understand and solve. Simple. Let's start. A kettle shed has 350 cows and 212 buffaloes. Okay. So, there is a shed in which there are 350 cows and 212 buffaloes. How many animals are there in the shed? So, here we have to find the total number of animals for which we are going to add. Now, as these are story sums, we have to write statements. Okay? I am going to give you an easy trick through which you can write the correct statement. Okay? Observe. Circle the number and write number of at its place. Okay. So, number of what? Cows. So, our first statement will be number of cows which were 350. Now, where is the second number? Yeah. Circle it. Again, at its place, we'll write number of. Number of what? Buffaloes. So, our second statement says number of buffaloes. Now, how many buffaloes do we have? 212. First two statements were quite easy, right? Easy to form. Now, as we have to find the total, we'll add both of these. Now, third statement. Always remember, instead of how many, again, we'll write number of. Number of what? Animals. So, number of animals. We can also write total number of animals as this is the total. Okay. So, total number of animals or number of animals is 0 plus 2, 2, 5 plus 1 is 6 and 3 plus 2 is 4, 5. So, total number of animals turned to be 562. Our answer. We also have to write a statement of answer okay this is important in problem sums or we call it story sums so again instead of how many we'll write 562 so uh, how many animals are there in the shed so there are 562 animals quite easy right Point to be noted, instead of writing the complete spelling of number, we have just written N O dot, which is abbreviation for number that we use. One more thing, if you don't put dot over here, it becomes no, okay, which does not make any sense over here. So we need to put the dot, it is very important. Let's move to the next sum now. The new question says, Karan bought a shirt for Rs. 315 and trousers for Rs. 650. Seems Karan had been shopping lately, so he bought a shirt and a pair of trousers for him. Okay, the cost have been given. Now, how much money did he spend in all? Again, we have to find the total of both the amounts. That will give us how much money did he spend, right? Now, the change over here is we will not use number of for the statement this time. Always remember, when the sum is about rupees, we will use amount of or cost of. So, when we are buying something, we will write cost. Otherwise, we will use amount instead of number of when we are talking about rupees. Okay. Let's start. So, 315 is the cost of a shirt. So, first statement will be cost 
of shirt is equal to rupees 315. Writing the unit is very important. Don't forget it. Okay. Not only 315. The cost is rupees 315. The second statement. 650 is the cost of yeah trousers. So cost of trousers is equal to rupees 650. Now how much in place of how much what are we going to write? Total amount of money did he spend. Otherwise total money did he spend. Okay. So third statement is total money he spent. Okay. Is equal to we will add these two. 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. So total amount is rupees 965. So our answer will be he spent rupees 965 in all. Easy? Good. Now I would request you to try both the sums on your own. Okay? Right now I explained you how to do it. Now I would want you to try both these sums on your own without seeing. Okay? Let me see if you can do this or not. All the best. Enjoy learning at home. You'll get a worksheet soon.